everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing the Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing for the month of November. I cannot believe this year is almost over and I am so ready for it to be because 2020 has been a B. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just dive right in because I wanna see what we got. All right, so there is a product on the outside of the bag. Uh, because it is too big to fit inside. So this is the a perfect 10 MOTD brush. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, it would be a perfect bronzer brush, powder brush. Um, oh, it's really soft. It's really soft. I like the bristles. Uh, the handle feels actually quite nice. Not too heavy, not too light. So I love getting brushes in my bags. This always makes me happy. Of course, I do prefer eye brushes, but I'm still happy when I receive a brush. So, starting this off really nicely. So, this is the bag of November. Uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> I don't know what I would have liked to have seen for the bag. Maybe. I don't know, like little leaves or pumpkins or turkey or something. I thought it'd be cute to do like a little theme on top since they've done those before. So that would have been nice, but it's still not a bad bag. It feels really, really nice. The theme this month is be present. So it says, hashtag blessed. This month, take a moment to notice the beauty that surrounds you. When you focus on the little things, the first swipe of a new lipstick, a DIY mani, video chatting with an old friend, you'll find you're rich in reasons to be thankful. Nice. So the very first product we have is from Ico London. This is the Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara in Beat, Beatnik Black. So this is what it looks like right here. Uh, I do actually enjoy testing out new mascaras. So this is right up my alley. I don't think I've gotten this one before, so that's always a plus. That is an interesting wand. So if you can tell, it's kind of uh, wider on the top and then it gets skinnier. I would have actually preferred it to be skinny here and then wider at the bottom. That way it's easy to just get in that inner corner. No smell, so that's good. <laughs> so we'll give that a test out and see how that works out. Okay, so the next item we have is from First Aid Beauty. This is actually a really good brand. Uh, this is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I always hear really good things about their um, skincare line, so I'm super excited to try this. Now, uh, this says that this is safe for sensitive skin. It is also fragrance fragrance free which is nice I don't like too much fragrance on my face and my face products and my eyeshadows I don't mind that they uh, you know my Too Faced pumpkin palette smells like pumpkin or whatever because that usually just eventually goes away anyways but if I have a strong scent on my face for my skincare it just it kind of makes me nauseous so I like that there's nothing there. All right. Oh, this looks like it could be a full-size product, you guys. The next item is from Koki Professional. This is their Soft Glow Highlighter. Look how big that box is. Oh, that's so exciting because that means that this definitely could be full-size. And I think I am right. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. The packaging is so pretty. Uh, it is in the shade Heavenly. And this definitely is right up my alley. You guys like this packaging so pretty. Uh, I've checked stores around me. I There, are, there aren't any uh, Koki products near me. I would have to order online, which I typically don't like to do because of shipping, but it's okay. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. Okay, I don't have any face products on. I really just did some mascara and some lip gloss and called it a day because it is late at night, but I kind of All right, 
so I used the same uh, finger as the swatch and it's still coming up so obviously a little bit goes a long way can you guys see that that's just from the leftover swatch nice <laughs> I am so happy with this one and our last product I'm excited for this one because this one is a choice item so I was looking forward to this uh, this is the Tatcha deep cleanse I always hear such fabulous things about Tatcha skin uh, skincare so I'm super super excited to have this in here it actually looks like a pretty decent sample size so that makes me even more excited uh, this is 25 milliliters so I'm gonna get my use out of this <laughs> it says clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract to normal for normal to oily skin directions apply to wet face avoid rinse avoiding eyes and rinse so yeah, you know what? We're gonna give this bad boy a try tonight. So I would have to say that Ipsy did really good for the month of November. Yeah, I'm 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 a little impressed. So we have a full-size brush with a full-size highlighter. So I got two full-size items in my bag, which is incredible. A Tatcha skincare uh, sample that is not small by any means so i'm really excited to test that out uh we have the ultra repair face moisturizer which i have dry skin so this is going to definitely come in handy especially that it's almost winter time and the mascara and i love testing out mascaras so all in all i'm gonna have to give this bag when i review it like a full five stars i think it's a really really nice bag so i cannot wait to see what my Glam Bag Plus is going to look like because this is awesome. Alright guys, so that is it for this unbagging. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I have a lot of new videos coming your way. I have uh, two reviews that I am working on, so make sure you guys stay tuned and I will see you on the next one. Bye!